In this video, I'm going to show you how to become better at dribbling. Maybe your coach is getting upset or your teammates are getting pissed off because every time you do try to dribble, you end up getting tackled, losing possession. Maybe you're just afraid to dribble in games because you don't want to make mistakes. You don't want everyone to yell at you. You just don't know how to dribble effectively. Well, I'm going to give you two tips that are going to help you improve your dribbling. So obviously we can start with basic dribbling technique. And if you haven't already and you want more information on dribbling, just go to my channel and search how to dribble. You'll probably get about 10 different videos that you can watch that will help you with your dribbling. But basic dribbling technique, you want to think about little touches, keeping the ball nice and close in front of you. Okay, you don't want big heavy touches that get away from you and you're always chasing them all over the field. Okay, so think about those little touches, keeping the ball nice and close so if you do have to, you can manipulate it in different ways. So quick little touches and then obviously you wanna think about cuts. So inside cuts, really helpful if you need to take an outside cut. Okay, little cuts, changes the direction so you can keep the ball away from defenders, keep possession for your team. Then obviously you can do little things like drag backs, L cuts, things like that. And that's just practicing, playing with the ball, having fun with the ball every day, becoming a better dribbler. But for this video, I wanna give you two different tips that are going to help you improve your dribbling. So first of all, tip number one, be productive. I don't want you to be the type of player who takes 10 touches you got nice skills, but you go nowhere. You do nothing with it. You wanna be the type of player who takes one touch and beats two defenders at the same time. So think about being productive and you're gonna to have to be honest with yourself. You're gonna to have to review and analyze yourself. Am I actually doing something with my dribbling or am I taking a lot of touches, going nowhere and just getting closed down? And which also closes down my teammates and stops the attack. So think about being productive. So if I am taking a guy on, I just wanna make one quick move, better than that, hopefully. But I just wanna make one sharp move and then go, accelerate. Or even more so, I don't even have to beat defenders. I just explode, I just take off into space. Okay, so as soon as you get the ball, just go, do not hesitate. You should know where you wanna go. You're playing ahead of the game. You're not just getting it and reacting. The ball's coming to you and you're already thinking, you're saying, hey, if I get the ball, I'm gonna go over here with my dribbling. So as soon as you get it, just take off and accelerate. And if you have to beat some guys along the way, you'll do it. Okay, but be productive with your dribbling. The second thing I want you to think about is using your body as much as your touches. So everyone thinks about the touches that you take but what about your body? If you start using your body effectively, you're gonna lose possession much less often. So for example, let's say I wanna just bring the ball back like that to protect it from a defender. Instead of this, maybe all I have to do is this, okay? So I didn't even have to take a touch in order to keep possession. Just think about your body in relation to defenders. So let's say these balls are defenders. When I'm dribbling, I wanna think about, <laughs> and that's a poor example, but I wanna think about getting my body in between the defender and the ball, rather than just always relying on my skills, okay? And I'm making fun of players here, but this is what you see, this is what I'm seeing every day when I go and see young kids play. It's a lot of kids with nice skills, but they're not effective, they're not productive, and they definitely are not using their body well enough. So you wanna think about when you're dribbling, you wanna think about getting your butt, especially if you're keeping possession. If you're dribbling at a guy and you're taking him on, sure, use your skills, go right at him. You should go right at him. You want him flat-footed, bumbling backwards. Okay, but if you're trying to keep possession, let's say there's guys on your back, this is where you really wanna use your body to your advantage. So think about, getting your butt in front of the guy, putting your foot in front of him, okay? Using your arms to protect the ball. And just be aware of your body. As you get older, you learn to use your body more, but start thinking about it when you're younger and it will definitely help your dribbling. The other thing I wanted to talk about when it comes to 
body control is just something I always tell myself and that is be on top of the ball. So what I mean by that is if you're dribbling, you always wanna be on top of it here. Obviously if I'm sprinting, yes, it's okay to put it in front of me, but I'm running fast. So I'm gonna get on top of the ball. But if you're dribbling like this, where's all my balance? Where's my strength? It's not there, it's back here. Okay, so you wanna think about always being on top of the ball. So one example I'll give you, and I'm doing this because I always used to make this mistake when I was younger. Let's say, for example, I was gonna do a Cruyff turn. So I'm trying to play across into the box and the defender's right there. I'll play a nice Cruyff turn. He might even bite for the shot or bite for the cross, but he would end up turning and getting to the ball before me. My skill was good, my touches were good, but my body movement wasn't there. I wasn't on top of the ball. So instead of something like this, and then I'm up straight and I'm slowly getting there, it's something like this. Okay, see where I am? I'm on top of the ball right here. Okay, so cuts, especially, I always wanna be right here with my dribbling because if I have to, now I'm here and I can use my body or I can get more touches on the ball. So always think about being on top of the ball. Another one is uh, cutting like that. Like sometimes I'll cut and my touch will be good, but I'm not on top of the ball. I'm not messy-esque cutting, being right on top of it, okay? So just always think about being on top of the ball, especially when you're cutting your turning. You don't want to get in the habit of being out here. You don't want to be turning with your balance back here. So think about those two ideas. Number one, huge. Be productive with your dribbling. Actually do something with it. Don't take 10 touches on the spot and go nowhere. And number two, use your body. Think about where your body is in relation to the defender. Start using your butt, your arms, your legs to block off the ball and just always be on top of the ball. It's gonna give you more balance. So when you do have to take a touch and get away, you'll be more explosive. So think about those two tips and add them to your game.